Welcome back to my teen pregnancy at rags to riches challenge and if you are new here let me just catch you up. In the previous episode we moved Peyton into her first ever house. So previously she was living in a rental, not her house, she had to pay rent. Now she just has to pay bills or rates I suppose. Now where I ended it, this is where we got. So basically I put down everything in the house, but we haven't decorated it yet. So before we get started into anything else, I want to sort of renovate it, if that makes sense, even though it's a new house. And just to reiterate, these are all of the things that I didn't get to put down because there's just no space. So I think we need a lounge room. But first, we might be better off with some flooring and some wallpaper. So she has 5,504 simoleons and I'm pretty much going to blow all of it. So for the flooring, I think I am going to start off with like one of the cheapest ones. But I just want to try to keep money for later just in case we need it. I don't even know what flooring to go with. I suppose we should keep with the Oasis theme. To me, that means this. I don't know why. This hexagonal timber. Which, it, it looks pretty. I think we'll go with that. So I might do that there. In the bedrooms, I want to have carpet. And I really like this carpet and I don't use it very much. So I think I will. I think maybe the pink would be cute in Mabel's room. Maybe for Peyton's room, we could go black. It's a very stark difference there, isn't it? I wonder if there's better color like that. Yeah, all right. We'll go with that. Um, And then the bathroom. Oh, I love this. Maybe I'll do this one with the flowers. Now, wallpapers, the main area could be brown like that. It goes really nicely with the floor. You do a feature wall and then the rest of it could be plain but pretty. Although that is eight simoleons and I know we can get a cheaper one. Maybe we can go with boldly brushed like this, just around the edges. The kids' bedroom is always easy, super easy to decorate. Okay, maybe like this for the kids' bedroom. We'll go with the minty green one. And there also needs to be a window in here. Don't worry, we're going to renovate. It's fine. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. Oh, the furniture's a little mixed at the moment and everything looks a bit funky. That will change, don't worry. We need a lounge room. And to me, this looks like the perfect little area for a lounge room. Don't mind the door. Okay, and then to access the lounge room, we can have an archway. I think I'm going to go with the simple and cheapest archway with this. Oh, that completely messes up our roofing. I forgot about the roof, hey. I guess we could just extend it. Yeah, that'll be fine. So now I have room to add down this couch that we have. I'm just trying to think that maybe I need to add a jut out somewhere here so it looks a little more interesting and not like a container. Maybe it can be a built-in TV area or something. We can do something with that. We might have to stick with our little TV for the moment and we don't have enough money to be blowing it all on a, on a wall TV. But for the moment, the TV can just go on here. I'm gonna have to use control nine to lift it up because it is a kitchen cabinet. So it's not gonna like sit on there automatically. We could dress this up really pretty. Put that there. We can put our little rug down. Ooh, this, this is a big rug. I didn't realize. Maybe we'll need to buy a new one. It's not fitting the vibe, so we can sell that. Not even the couch is really fitting the vibe anymore, so I guess we could sell that too. We could have a couch like this. It's got the blanket, it's got the pillows already on there, so it looks really cozy. And she's still a teenager, so I feel like her style would still match this, because this is from high school years. Yeah, I guess the orange suits the vibe a bit better. We need a rug. This one from the horse ranch pack actually suits the room really well, like it's the right size. Just wondering what swatch I should do because that matches the blue on the couch so it introduces a little bit of blue or there's this one which has both blue and orange I think I like that one the best I don't know these cabinets being dark probably isn't matching anymore so we'll make them white I want to have something for Mabel so I'm thinking we could add a little like toy um thing in here a dollhouse that's what I mean not a toy thing this little cardboard one, like maybe Peyton put together a cardboard one so that she had something to play with, but it's still cheap, you know? Like Peyton unwrapped her new lounge and she used the cardboard from it to make this dollhouse for Mabel. So the roof looks a little weird because the paneling is out the front, but I don't want to change it. So maybe we can make this whole thing paneling instead. Now I know Mabel's room is really small. Maybe later on we can actually make a new room and expand it just for her and then this can become the study. Um, but I just need to make sure that she's got enough light in here, of course. Oh, that's a really cute table. I know it's an end table, but it fits in here well. I kind of like this moonlight. We could add these cute little flowers. Oh yeah, look at that.
at that. Perfect. And it fits on the wall so well. I think what we can do too is also just add a few more toys up on here that she could play with. Because at the moment she doesn't have very much. She's got her tuk tuk, of course. She's got two because she stole one from the cafe. I think this is the perfect space for this little bookshelf. And then I can put some blocks there so we can teach her some stuff. I'm really disappointed with the animation that came with the blocks though. Like it's like, oh, teach them shapes and your sim just stands there looking at them while they do their own thing. Look, the bathroom's not too bad. I think I'm going to leave it like that other than the window aspect because I did want to add a window in. I'll just add one of these. It matches with the rest of the house's windows. We have enough money that I think I'm just going to, oops, get rid of all that. The doors are over there, so these are the only two available walls for the kitchen. We need a dining space. Plus, we need room for the dog. The dog's food could go there. Maybe the dog does have to sleep in here, and we just have to ignore the fact that it's annoying. Ah, that's gonna have to do. That's where the dog's sleeping. We need an exhaust fan above the oven. This one looks pretty good. There we go. Uh, the green fridge, not working for me. It's yellow. Yeah, we can give that a go. Just ignore the fact that the bottom is different from the top cupboards. Okay, we're down to 943. I'm going to start wrapping it up now. I suppose we could just do what we were doing before and put the computer on here. Oh, it takes up the whole table. It looks so messy. Maybe I can rejig her bedroom so we can fit it in. Oh, that cost a lot of money. She can have herself a nice little chair to match her bed. And there we go. Then we can put the computer on. Now we still have these... Um, bees which i think i might just add up here for a little decoration i'll put her future cube on the table oh her school project did she not finish that okay i guess i'll get her to finish the project this little decorations box can go right next to her computer um, the marble game can stay in for now i don't know what can we sell that no gotta get rid of that plate too okay perfect and this is what we have ended up with yeah, I think it blends in well with the neighborhood. Just ignore this house, but the rest of it, it blends in really well. So Peyton is quite tense. Uh, she needs to have some fun. I wonder if playing dolls with Mabel will make her fun go up. The dog's drinking out of the toilet again. I don't have time for this, man. I'm too stressed. Look at those dolls. They're like little goth dolls. How cute. Maybe it's their like fake monster high dolls. And she is having fun. That's fantastic. I think we need a talk. Yeah, lecture about drinking in the toilet for Luna. Yeah, good. Now eat your food. Probably feed Mabel while you're at it. Oh, good. Luna learned not to drink from the toilet. Fucking great. Well, uh, someone just walked straight into our house. Oh, professional gardener. <laughs> I forgot that I hired a gardener. <laughs> I wonder if she can make these ones come back to life. Teach shapes to Mabel after you give the dog a bath. Oh, that is too cute. See, do you see what I mean about this animation? She's just standing there watching her play shapes. Oh, look, our maid's here. Yes. That free services thing is honestly the best ever. And we have a welcome wagon. I think you better go let him in so we can have some free fruitcake. Hopefully they put it down this time, unlike the old landlord we used to have. Why are you here? Go away, I don't want any bills. I don't think the gardener is making our plants come back to life, so I'm just going to dispose of these ones because they're stinking up the place. Oh, seriously? Yeah, so I just moved in. We have our bills already. 34 simoleons? Oh, well, I can pay that. That's reasonable. Ooh. What's up, Peyton? One of my friends heard how great you are and has been asking to meet you. Can I give them your number? Sure you can. I always say sure and then no one ever contacts me so I don't know I don't know if that's just yeah like a thing that's broken it wouldn't surprise me ah Luna wants to go for a walk okay we'll make sure to take Luna for a walk today too we're gonna pay our bills we're going to have some fruit cake and just discuss uh or meet our new neighbors and the bills lady decided she wanted to go on my computer which is just fucking random coming in here stomping around Hey Luna, yes, I know, you want to go for a walk, we'll go, it's fine. We have our life together now, Luna, we can we can take you, we can spare some time to take you for a walk. Alright, she does not like the thing, so we're going to take Luna on a walk now. So Peyton now has her house, and it is a really nice house now that we've renovated it. So where do we go from here? Well, I know I want her to become a high school A student, and obviously also graduate. She's actually going to graduate in about 41 days. 
She also has a new boyfriend, Chaz, who incidentally has not been around her new house, hasn't even been around in a while, actually. Um, so I don't know if we're going to stay with Chaz. We might have a brief affair with uh, Duan. I don't know. She may even get pregnant again. But ultimately, I just want to build up her fortune. Oh my god, don't drink your pee. Yeah, I'd like her to have a bigger house. Maybe it doesn't have to be a mansion, but just a bigger house. Maybe she could have a rental property. And then I want uh, Mabel to grow up as the heir. Mabel can take on whatever Mabel wants to take on, you know? What I am thinking is uh, we'll do a little housewarming party. Maybe we can't do a housewarming party, but we can do a dinner party. Oh, wait, hang on. A house party. Let's do that. And let's invite all of our friends around. So obviously we'll invite Chaz. We'll invite Luna, Morgan, Yuki, even though she was just here. We'll be inviting Elias because I've decided he is our best friend. Mabel is obviously coming. Um, would it be weird to invite Duan? I don't think so. I think he'd be happy for us. Plus, he's Mabel's dad, so definitely invite T. Maybe we won't invite the neighbors, but we'll invite her mom, invite her dad. I feel like we should invite Sydney purely because he's always around us. I don't think we'll be hiring an entertainer or a mixologist or a caterer because we're fucking poor. Oh, T's here. She's gone immediately to the bathroom to give herself a pep talk, I think. Yep. Another thing too, I have a long lifespan on and I'm going to change that. It was working really well before she had a baby, but now everything is just taking too long. So we'll put it back on normal. So we have 11 days to age up and graduate and Mabel has three days until she ages up too. So as usual, uh, everyone's just kind of sitting around the computer. I should have locked that, but it's a bit late now. Maybe we'll just focus on having, uh, having a chat with the guests. Chaz has come in immediately and started watching a movie. All right, Chaz. Look at her mum though, fancy. Now she's singing. Okay, that's a bit embarrassing. Mum, probably don't do that. Look at T's makeup. Gosh, everyone has such cool style. Oh, except for her dad. Although he does have the purple pants, so I guess. We got our besties here. Are we actually best friends? Have we asked them to be best friends? Become best friends forever. Oh, yay. Become best friends forever with Luna. We're not too close with T just yet for that. Now, where's Yuki? Yuki's having a bath. Um. <laughs> okay, this isn't like a sleepover, Yuki. You, you can't just have a bath. I guess you could. I think we should chat with Sydney. Says we have good compatibility, so I suppose we should chat with him. Plus, he came in a suit, so that's pretty fancy. Hopefully, Luna's feeling a bit better now, too, and she won't run away. Mabel's just going to feed herself. Fantastic. Someone gave her food. Good job. We could also become best friends forever with Elias. I think we'll do that. Um, Duan does not have a shirt under there. I don't know if that's appropriate. Oh, T just became good friends with Peyton. Good. I think we can stay on the good friend aspect with T. I don't know. It's not feeling best friend vibe. Yay. Did they just fucking kiss? I don't think they did. I think that was a hug. That would be weird if they kissed. Cool. Um, and now we need Yuki. Is she still in the bath? No, she's on the computer. <laughs> Yuki, you're making it real hard to become best friends. Oh, I need to make sure to shave her legs. Her and her mum always have matching legs. Look, look. You can tell where she got it from. Yay! Um, Chaz, Chaz's romance bar has gone down. Yuki's gonna chill on our bed. That's cool. That's what best friends do, you know. That's okay. She's playing like medieval sims, I think. Let's have a little chat with Chi. See how everything's going. We can talk about handiness. That seems like a weird thing to talk about. Did you freaking see that? I think Duan just blew a kiss. At Peyton. If it wasn't towards Peyton, I want to know which one of these bitches are dating my ex. Oh, look at her glasses. So I didn't know anything about Luna before, but apparently her family's a bit messed up. I think her dad's like a boss mob or something. Anyway, we don't judge based on family. Uh, it appears that Chaz has taken Yuki's iPad. No worries. I'm sure she's just letting him borrow it. Heartfelt compliment to Sydney, like, yeah, you're- Oh my god, look at Duan, he's cleaning up. Thank you. He's angry, but he's cleaning up. Where did Chaz go? Oh, he's leaving. Alright, no worries. It looks like I just got an, a free iPad. I'm gonna make her come, um, play Sim Shape. 
Thank you, Yuki. Duan is still here after everyone left. Is that a sign? Let's discuss his interest. Express the joy of life. Let's compliment his outfit. I like that you chose not to wear a shirt under that jacket. Very bold move. Especially to a party where my parents are and they know you knocked me up. Now's a better time than never, but I she's also supposed to be minus two in debt, so I'm just gonna make her simoleons 12. That was from when we extended the bathroom when we were building our house, so I haven't forgotten about that. So it is a school day today and I think we should go to bed. But first I'll do a pillow fight with Duan because it just seems like it's a comedic thing to do, I don't know. You know, they can be amicable. They used to be close, like they were close enough to have a baby. And he's obviously happy for her to show up to this housewarming party. Look how fast their friendship bar is going up just by doing this. I'm gonna ask... Ask for a bedtime story from Duan so that he can do some like dad duties. Um, she needs to go to sleep real bad. She's gonna pass out. Her bed was right there, but she's gonna go outside and pass out. How does that make sense? I don't know. Oh, so cute. And look at her little freckles. Oh yeah, okay. Luna's gonna eat the white cake. I didn't know they could do that. And now he's playing violin and it's probably not the best place to do it when your daughter's asleep right there. It really does not seem like we're gonna get enough sleep to go to school and be happy at school so today's might today might be a shit show yeah oh yay luna learned not to drink from puddles thank you i know you did not just put your dirty ass on the couch where did that ipad go oh she's got it in her inventory so not only has she stolen a tuk tuk from the cafe but she has also stolen an alight jamming tablet how cool is it that they're just hanging out in her own little lounge room I feel like we haven't been to school in such a long time, hey. So she wants to work out on the treadmill. Fair enough, I feel like she should. Looks like our friends up here. They both look like they're having the worst time of their life. She's crying in class, same. It looks like we might be up to an A student by the end of the week. We'll see what snacks we can get from the vending machine. Like I'm thinking I really want an energy drink. It's not really what I wanted. How about the fridge? I think power sip definitely sounds like it could be. Does she have any moodlets from that drink? Or maybe she has to finish it first. Yeah, she has something. Midnight sipping. <laughs> power sip midnight flavored with the essence of night. Wondering how he managed to bottle the very concept of time itself. The truth is that it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. All that matters is the sip and the power. Power sip. <laughs> I love that. It didn't make her uh, it didn't make her sleep go up though. Oh, she's gonna pass out in class. What's new, you know? She's been doing this since the very beginning. Peyton turned in some good work and took some good notes today. Good. Duan can come around and look after Mabel while Peyton has a little nap. <gasps> look at her little hat. Oh my little duck. We're really getting in some quality time with her dad right now, which is fantastic. And I have a feeling Peyton might have some clucky feelings with Duan being around and doing this dad stuff. So I think now I'm going to force him to come and um, ask for tower help, Duan. After we do the shapes, we're going to ask Duan for food. And then he can give us a bedtime story and put us to bed. Just while Peyton's at work. Oh, she's not even hungry anymore. I thought she was hungry. We're still gonna ask for food, it's fine. Duan can do some little dad time, you know? Again, Duan does not have a shirt under that shirt. Well, I guess it's probably not a shirt that you would have a shirt under, but he doesn't have it buttoned up. Fantastic, this is so much better just bossing around Duan. Oh, uh, Duan's leaving. Okay, bye Duan. It's like, Mabel's asleep, you know? My job is done. Ooh, promoted. Promoted to customer support. We will now make an additional 8 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 48 simoleons per hour. Sweet. Can we buy a thermostat? It says that she's overheating, so I think it might be worthy. Yeah, it's only 125. Sweet. And uh, I guess we'll make it cooler. We'll make it cooler right now because we're living in a desert, you know, and of course it's really hot. I'm gonna dismiss, dismiss this nanny. He's just standing around doing nothing. I forgot the services with Sierra Simoleons again, so that's fantastic. We just had a whole nanny here all night doing nothing, of course, but it costs Sierra Simoleons. 
Um, maybe we'll take the dog for a walk because that makes her fun go up a lot. Look how fast her fun's going up just with this walk. We only just left the house. We just walked up the road. Look, that's her house. We walked up the road. We're walking back home. Her fun is already full. So if you haven't taken your dog for a walk to get the fun up before, definitely recommend. Nope. Let's go to school. So we're doing our homework in the classroom today to show the teacher we're very serious. Yeah, come study for the exam. Oh my god, the teacher just farted. Look at this little pie chart. It makes it look so real. It says she's attending exam prep, but she doesn't have anything above her head. Like, there's nothing here that really says that she is. Wolfgang's being friggin' rude again. I think I might organize a stay over. Uh, two nights. I was gonna do Duan. Why can't we do Duan? Alright, I guess we'll do Chaz. Chaz is here with his little suitcase. Chaz is staying over. I just wanted to see the interaction that he does with Peyton because he really hasn't been doing much um, romantic interaction. I mean, come on. We got blown a kiss from Duan and we got nothing from Chaz the other night. I'm gonna make Peyton come over here and finish whatever this is. Hopefully we can get pushed more towards the top of excellent and get to an A student. Cause it is Thursday now, we got exams tomorrow. It's almost the end of the week. And the goal was I wanna be an A student by the end of the week. The thing I'm going to do, which I never do, is create a club. And we're just gonna invite Luna cause it seems like she likes to work out. Okay, so the club name is Jimmy. The description is hold your bestie accountable by agreeing to visit the gym together occasionally. And they're going to meet at the local gym in Oasis Springs. So the activities that we can do, yoga, meditating and working out. So here is our first styled outfit for the gym. Here is our second gym outfit. So we've got the trackies, we've got the oversized t-shirt tied into a knot. We have the like fitness tracker. Look at her socks though. I've got these little squiggly ones. So depending on when she finishes this project, we might go to the gym. We played through the day at school. Nothing really exciting happened. Oh, hello T. Hello. Yes, welcome in. How dare you call my house dusty? It's Mabel's birthday, so we need to cook her a cake. Not a white one, because I'm over those. Too many white cakes have been around our house lately. A strawberry cake sounds good. Uh. <laughs> Go on, age up. Oh, 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 where are we going? This is interesting. Here you go, you get some first person through the house. How exciting. Oh, oh, oh. Yay. Mm, should I just do one randomize and leave it at that? Okay. Mabel is proper. Whiz kid. She wants to be the smartest kid in school. No doubt, no doubt. Okay, she definitely needs a makeover. And here is Mabel in all her glory. And Peyton went to bed and we didn't even get to have cake. So I'm going to get up, call to meal so we can have some cake. Where is he going? A bowl. There's a bowl outside. Interesting. Okay, we're going to have some cake and then uh, quickly go back to bed because we have school in the morning. Az has not spoken to us all day, by the way. I guess we did go to school, so I'll give him that. Mabel can also take herself to bed. This is her room, by the way. I gave it a little makeover just so, you know, she has a bed that she can sleep in. Why does it say that's Chaz's bed? Has he already slept in this bed? Hey, sweetie. We're coming over so we can see the little one and help out however we can. I don't think so, Maeve. I don't think so. No, no. Okay, I bought a moodlet solver so we can quickly get out of bed. Hopefully finish this project before she goes to school. I might just work sloppily. I don't know if that makes it go faster or not. Wow, I don't think she's been this happy in a while. <gasps> yes, she finished. Okay, cool. I really want to be an A student by the end of today. I don't know if it's going to happen or not because like it's kind of in the middle. It's not up towards the top. Says, nice work, Peyton. Completing school project really has a positive impact on your grades. Keep up the good work. Okay, that's good. Good. <laughs> that was cute. Oh. <laughs> Just a couple of besties at school. Okay, but I need you to stop distracting Peyton, please. She needs to finish her homework. The teacher is stuck between the chairs again. Okay, we're done. Oh. <gasps> stop, stop. Where is it? Grades are up. Peyton has been working hard and is now high school A student. That is honestly fantastic. And now we only have one more week left of school until we graduate. Do you know what though? Her aspiration is to have a strong relationship with three sims at once, romantic relationship. And I don't want her to be depicted as like a cheater. So maybe we should break up with Chaz. Yeah, ask to just be friends. 
Oh, she's gonna do it in front of Mabel? Finn and Chaz have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Well, I didn't want that. I wanted to keep the romantic relationship. I just wanted to be friends. Oh, do you want to hang out tonight? Yes, I do. Let's cowpoke dance with Luna on the dance floor. She, she invited us here. We might as well have some fun. I think I might make another club too, where they can just like be all the best friends and they all go clubbing together. Okay, this is our club called Clubbers. Hit the nightclubs and have some fun. Bring your besties along. We have Elias, Luna, Morgan, Yuki, and T in this club. What's encouraged is drink bar drinks, dance, listen to music, play the arcade game, and just be friendly with everyone. I have this nifty little mod right here and you can choose spend the weekend with Maeve. And Maeve is here to pick up Mabel. So Mabel's going to go stay with Maeve. I'll be gone now, call me when you want me to come home. And we will be taking a small vacation with our very best friends, Luna, Morgan, and Yuki. So we're heading to San Myshuno. We're staying in a fake little apartment that I've made for them. So it appears that um, Luna, the dog, has also joined us on this vacation, which is fine. The dog can do whatever it wants. But here is our little fake hotel or apartment building. Here's the apartment we'll be staying in. This room here is for Morgan and Yuki. They'll be sharing a bed. This one is for Luna over here. And this one's for Peyton. She gets the biggest room of them all because she paid for this entire vacation. Let's pop the stereo on, get the tunes pumping. And then we'll get started on the little drinks. Let's pour a drink platter. There we go, they all have drinks. All right, time to get another platter then. This time we'll go for the old York Yorkfield classic 16 platter. All right, we're on to our second drink. Oh, I have a feeling tonight's going to be very fun. Oh, look, she's double parked. Look at the amazing view that they have too. Cool. It is time to head out. Yes, look at them. They are ready for a good night. And then there's just Elias and T that have shown up because we have a gathering. <laughs> yes. And now this is the reason we have a little rainbow here as our logo. We have a little bubble effect thing in here. Let's go dance over here. Dance together. Ooh, look who's just arrived. Hey, here's trouble. Reese is here. I think maybe we can play a little arcade game with Reese. How about that? <laughs> Let's invite him to stay the night once we actually leave. But there's also these handy dandy hot tubs right here. And we're just going to mess around with Reese in the hot tub. Yeah, I think we need to come upstairs and do a little woohoo with Reese. Oh, okay. They've decided to go into a different bed than the one that I selected, but that's okay. All of the girls are still out at the club, so we can be as loud as possible. Oof, ooh, what a steamy night, honestly. And now it's like 4 a.m. All right, let's go have like a tiny nap until the girls get back. Okay, so now we have one strong romantic relationship with Reese. We'll keep that going for sure, but we also need to have two more. Okay, well, that's where I think I'm going to call it for this episode. Thank you so much for joining us, and I will see you in the next one when we continue on getting our romantic relationships up and just overall making more money, I think, because we didn't very much, we didn't do very much in this one. So thank you. Goodbye.